Now, I'm really not perhaps as worried as some people about this. Of course, it could all go horribly, horribly wrong, but this looks so much more like an opening gambit in something I think Trump wants to get tied up pretty quickly. Why is he doing it? Why is he doing it then? If you, if you feel that um, actually the impact may be rather small in terms of the, the risk appetite, why go down this road at all, um, given that he's now handing out exemptions left, right and centre to countries that have taken umbrage? Well, look, let's have a look. South Korea, right? He's just done a trade deal, or so they say. So that hasn't taken very long. Steel tariffs put on, whatever, three, four weeks ago or threatened and now he's done a deal. That's pretty record timing. Uh, the EU, he hasn't exempted them fully. He's basically given another month's stay of execution just really to let his negotiations go through. And China, same story. You know, the, these, these tariffs don't go on straight away. It's a couple of months. He uses it for negotiation. Charles, what seems to have started off, once again, Mr Trump, I believe, is the catalyst for the sell-off in the market. I mean, we, we talked about trade, but he was also the catalyst, rightly or wrongly, for a whole host of factors that led to the market rally in November 2016 as well. Is it possible that the global market sentiment that started off as concerns about trade actually exacerbates and spreads to concerns about a whole host of things, including what Mr Powell is up to at the FOMC, including the problems that Europe is having politically, uh, and indeed, of course, the, the most important thing, I think, in many ways, is the fact that people have turned on technology stocks at the moment and the sentiment that could wreak to... Uh, the damage that could wreak to sentiment across the board. Yeah, I, I fully agree there are several things going on here at once. Um, you haven't met, there's one other one you haven't mentioned, which is that the PMIs, of course, are softening. We've had two down months in Europe, quite big downs, although we're still well above the sort of 50 mark. Uh, we've had a down month in China, potentially another one just coming up. So there are many worries out there. But on the other hand, this is all kind of worries in a world economy that's actually still doing OK. Giles, it's not just on the stock market where you're seeing some of the positioning. Again, you've seen it in yen, you've seen it in euro, two currencies that are now perceived as safe havens versus the US dollar, further exacerbating this weakening we've seen in the US currency. So what happens on that front? Do you think fears persi persist even if it's, uh, as you say, an opening gambit and the, and the whole idea of a, a trade war gets sold very quickly? Do you think the US dollar continues to suffer or is there a turnaround coming too for that trade? I think it's unlikely. I mean, if you think about this, buying the yen because of a trade war in which Japan was going to be hit pretty badly, and Japan hasn't been exempted from the steel tariffs, by the way. That seems to me pretty peculiar. Um, and meanwhile, Mr. Powell is indeed tightening the monetary screw. So I don't see, the do I don't see a dollar rout here at all. I think that was an initial reaction, but I think it, it now stabilises. Sorry, I know we've got to move on, but just very briefly, go back to the, the point that we're raising is... Um, all these concerns are happening at an elevated market valuation. Just how elevated are we? How overvalued are we? Or are we after the 10% plus corrections we've had in a lot of these indices and these subsectors? Are we actually in some form of value territory now? Well, I, I think you, 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 that's exactly the point. We were overvalued, but we've come down, give or take, 10%, depending which market you look at. And obviously quite a bit more for some of the tech stocks. So look, my take on this is I think the tech stocks and a few other stocks there is a question mark against, and it's not necessarily valuation in the conventional sense. It's because those tech stocks are vulnerable to regulatory attack here, potentially quite big time. And I don't think it will stop with Facebook. I think it can spill to the others as well.